Greetings, this is Daniel Tal, and I'm going to do a very quick demo of the introduction to my new extension called Urban Paint. Here I drew a line, sim a, sing a very simple edge that's 3,000 feet in length. So I'm going to select it. Here's the Urban Paint menu. I have a pre-existing profile that I'm going to load here, because you can save the profiles, just to show you how Urban Paint works real quickly. So here's Urban Paint. You can create a symmetrical street profile. You can add and adjust the number of lanes, include striping. There's different types of parking and shoulders from parallel, diagonal, stall, head in, bike lanes, different types of curbs. Here's a median planter. I'm actually going to adjust this to 15 foot median planter. You can add trees to the median. We can do an attached or detached set of walks. All these different things are parametrically adjustable. And also important to know that this whole menu is linear, intended to guide you step by step through the entire process. Tree grates, pedestrian lights, street lights, utility poles if you want it, parking meters, and then also buildings. There's an extensive building library here. I'll adjust the settings here to one foot distance between the buildings to 15 foot distance. And there's an extensive building library that you can choose from. And I'm choosing one to six story buildings. I'm gonna save this profile. I always recommend saving the profiles. And then we're gonna quickly here, click build profile. And there you go. You can see it built the profile very quickly here. It took about 20 seconds. I'm going to zoom in and we can see this profile in detail now. And that's the way Urban Paint works. I'm going to spend the next several videos showing how you can add additional features as well. One other feature I'm going to do here is add an intersection. So I'm going to zoom back out here. I'm going to draw a quick line across, select that line. Again, I'm going to load a profile. We'll do the same one we just did and hit open. And it preloads this menu with the profile settings. This time I have an intersection option at the top. I'm going to do include pedestrian crossing, 15 foot setback, and a quarter radius. And we'll click build profile. And there you can see it under 20 seconds or so, it built us an intersection as well. And that's the purpose of this tool is to be able to really quickly create very detailed streetscapes for so many different uses. And the next videos explain how it further works.